Hey YouTube, so it is Saturday and I'm over here at my buddy's house. He's got this uh, Buick Park Avenue and I was over here like, I don't know, a few weeks ago to a month ago, somewhere in there and I thought I was coming to work on a van today but I guess they took their van so I'm not doing the van today but he got lower intake manifold gaskets for for this and so I'm going to pull his whole top into part and get these uh, lower intake manifold gaskets swapped swapped out so I pretty much uh, also I brought him another thermostat housing and another thermostat I got a new gasket smart TV for that so I just got to get all this unplugged and He's got all new gaskets inside, so I'm about to run inside and grab all the gaskets. And so yeah, I just gotta tear all this apart. So it's 11.30 right now. So probably by about 12.30 or one, I should have this all torn apart and start cleaning everything up. And then I've gotta do an oil change because once I pull this lower intake manifold, upper and lower manifold, it's gonna mix the coolant with the oil. And then he needs an oil change anyways. So, I'm about to disconnect the battery and start tearing this thing apart, and I'll give you guys another update here shortly. Alright, y'all, so it's literally been like 20 minutes. I've already got the whole top in disconnected, so now i just got to unbolt the fuel rail, pull the fuel rail off. I've already got all the injector plugs are off. So now I just got to get the fuel rail off. Then I can unbolt the upper intake manifold. I've already got it disconnected at the throttle body. So now I pretty much just take this and just set it up here. Leave all the throttle cables and all that connected. But it's coming along. So I'm going to keep going at it. And I got to get this belt off. Pull the alternator. Pull the coil pack bracket. And... It's getting there. It's coming. So, y'all stay tuned. Alright, guys. So, it's not even 12.10. It's been like 10 more minutes or so. I got the upper intake off. It's over there. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. But, yeah, dude. His, his gaskets were fucking shot. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Gasket was shot. It's all good. His upper intake looks fine, so as long as that's not damaged or melted, it's good. So at least we don't have to replace the upper. Just gaskets. So now now I've got to pull that bracket off right there. It's got that 13 with the star and then another 13 right there. And then I'm pretty sure I got to pull that one off. But yeah, then it's just uh, pretty sure these are 3 8 And there's like 10 of them, I believe. And then there's one on the inside here and another one on the inside right here which are hidden under oil so you can't see them but they are definitely in there you can kind of see the head of that one let me turn the light on yeah so you can kind of see the head of that one right there but yeah so there's one in this side and one right there in that side and then all these going across the top here and then there's two on this side and then there's two on this back side over here and that's why this one has one inside because it's mirrored of that it's just inside same on this one so yeah there's one two three four five six so there's 12 bolt 12 bolts total for the lower intake manifold and then i'm going to go ahead and pop this uh, alternator bracket off it's just three fifteens, and then that way i don't have to worry about uh damaging those new coolant elbows because i just put those on not too long ago when i did the water pump and then i've also got to pull off this egr tube 
And I'm just going to take the whole thing off. That way I don't damage it. Because <clears throat> I don't want him to have any issues with his car. So, But yeah, it's just about there. And then once I get that EGR disconnected and that alternator bracket off and get the bolts out, the lower is off. And then it's just clean up. Get all the old gasket material and shit off and new gaskets. So I'll stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys. So it's 12:25. So it's literally, literally been like another 15 minutes. And I've already got an alternator and alternator brackets off. I've got all the bolts out of the lower intake. I just got to break it free. I've, I mean, everything's it's ready to come off. I've already got my brackets off. Everything's sitting over here. I've got the alternator and shit here, fuel rail. So all I literally all I have to do is just use my pry bar and break the gaskets free from the heads and slower intakes off and then I just probably gonna use their water hose and just rinse it off really good try to get all this gunk and shit off and I'll wire wheel the surfaces get them all nice and smooth and they've got the new gaskets inside so I gotta run aside and grab the box of new gaskets and I've got RTV and all this stuff somewhere <clears throat> and so I'll get all those new gaskets RTV'd before this goes back together. So I'm going to go ahead and get the pry bar and get this lower intake manifold off. And probably come set it over here in the grass and run the water hose so I can clean it up. And then I'll give you guys another update. Alright guys, so I went inside and I got the gaskets. So there's this upper intake manifold gasket with the that hose that goes in there. All the O-rings, throttle body gasket, this is that little side cover door right there, the gasket for that, came with the new thermostat, I mean, it came with everything, he really needed the thermostat too, because his old one, god look at that, it don't even shut anymore, the gasket was destroyed, <clears throat> It's cool. I brought them another thermostat housing. Well, I brought two of them, and they look way better than this gunked up, dirty thing. So I'm still going to swap them over as housing, and I have a brand new gasket for the housing and everything. Look, this even came with the EGR gasket. This came with everything. And then this is lower intake manifold gaskets. And it also came with brand new coolant elbows. So I just did his coolant elbows like a couple months ago when I did his water pump. Probably about four or five months ago, somewhere in there. But I guess since they come with new ones, I'll go ahead and swap them out. And everything's going to be like brand new. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this uh, lower intake manifold off and start getting everything cleaned up so I can start getting it all put back together. So y'all stay tuned. Alright, so. I've got the lower intake manifold off. It's pretty gunky in here. And that lower intake manifold was trash. It was nasty. The gaskets were trashed. I went ahead and just rinsed it. I'm definitely going to have to wire wheel the fuck out of it. Yeah, you can see. Gasket was blown out on that one. And this one was blown out on that one. Yeah, uh, not the best. But I've definitely seen worse before. That's what happens when you use those plastic gaskets. That's why I like the aluminum ones. But he bought the same old ones, so that's what's going back on it. But yeah, I just got to get this all cleaned up. And wire wheel off that lower intake manifold. And get that little cover door off so I can do all the gaskets and then probably rinse it off again before it goes back together then I'm just gonna have to wipe all this down and try not to get any gunk in the lifter rally area so y'all stay tuned I keep you guys updated once I start getting this thing put back together all right y'all so I use my razor blade here and I was Scraped all this off as much as I could get. I'm trying to keep stuff out of the lifter, lifter valley. This one looks like it got a little cleaner. And then on the head side, I just wiped them down. I couldn't really 
scrape because it's just gonna fall right in there and I just don't want him to have any issues say Nick and Justina have helped me out a lot over the last year and a half two years and so this is just kind of like my thank you for them I'm always working on their cars for like next to nothing so I actually came over here today thinking I was gonna be working on their van but they took the van <clears throat> so I'm doing the lower intake manifold gaskets on this instead on this Buick but yeah so I'm to the point I'm about to start getting this thing put back together I've got the upper and lower intake manifold kind of just I sprayed them with the water hose not really a shit ton of pressure they definitely cleaned it up a lot and so I still need to uh, take this door cover off and I'm gonna take this bracket off I'm gonna take the coolant the uh, temp sensor off and then I'm just gonna wire wheel this whole thing go over all these areas and I'm gonna rinse it again just to kind of clean it up some and make it look a little nicer uh, that's part of that gasket melted on there yeah that's gonna have to come off but it's all good I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get that wire wheeled and get those brackets off and get that cleaned up so that way I can start getting this thing put back together because that's the next step so I keep you guys updated and I'll show you this lower once I get it all cleaned up all right you guys so I just got the lower intake manifold all wire wheeled and cleaned up as you can see everything's looking much better now and then I've also got this inside over here all cleaned up and that's where that little cap goes I got it all cleaned up got all the lower intake to head mounting surfaces all wire wheeled and cleaned up everything's looking nice so now it's about time to start putting this thing back together so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gasket out of there for this and put some RTV on it and go ahead and get that back on while it's out of the car and easy to get to <clears throat> and then uh, I can go ahead and set my the new gaskets on in here and get the corners RTV'd and I like to put a bead going across both of these where they sit right here and yeah they sit right here on this surface and this surface that's like a a bridge gasket I think is what they called it but yeah so I just got to get these gaskets on here RTV the corners RTV across the bridge set the lower intake manifold on and then I've got to clean all these uh, lower intake manifold bolts up and I'm probably gonna I don't know if I'm gonna wire wheel all of them but I'm definitely gonna spray all of them with brake clean because I need to get the oil off so that way whenever I put RTV on the bolts when I put them back in they'll actually stick to the metal and not repel from the oil so that's the next thing is getting this uh, lower intake set on so I'm gonna keep working on this thing and I'll give you guys another update <clears throat> all right y'all so I've got the gasket here for the lower intake and this but I just cannot find my RTV so I like RTV in and to do the lower intake you gotta put a dab in each corner and I like going across so I guess I'm going to run up to AutoZone or O'Reilly's there's like two different parts stores within a half a mile from here so I'm just gonna run up there and grab a tube that way I have some and I can be extra sure that he's not gonna have any issues with this car <laughs> And then once I go get the RTV, I can put RTV on both sides of this gasket. And it goes on just like, sir. And I just like to double it up and put RTV on both sides so there's absolutely no leaks. And then same thing with on there. And then also same thing with the coolant elbows. Even though they have these O-rings, I still RTV the shit out of them. Like you can see on that one, I RTV both of them. And guess what? He's had no leaks. I even RTV'd his water pump gasket just to be sure you didn't have no leaks. So 
I'm gonna run up here to the parts store and grab some RTV and I'll be right back within or like five or ten minutes and I'll finish getting this all put together so y'all stay tuned and I'll give you guys another update here shortly <clears throat> alright y'all so I just got back from O'Reilly's we got this big ass thing a uh, ultra blue RTV I've already got the back side of the cap RTV I've got both sides of the gasket RTV so now I just gotta take my cap yes his cap there we go. Got my two eight millimeter bolts. Start threading them in. And just like that. Now my eight. There we go. There's his little door cover. So he's good. So now I can go ahead and put some RTV in my corners and going across the bridge. I can set the lower intake manifold back down in place where it's supposed to go and be on to the next thing. So y'all stay tuned. I'll give you guys another update here in about five minutes. Alright guys, so I've got everything on it's torqued down uh, again it says 27 foot pounds so I just did 30 foot pounds and yeah all of them are torqued down my RTV squirting out everywhere so got nice cleaned up uh, gasket surface here so yeah now it's time to start getting all the rest of this put back on I got my gotta put this bracket back on and this one on the front before the upper goes on so that little little bracket goes on to this one it's a 13 and then that other bracket goes on to goes into that bolt hole there and that bolt hole over there and that's the bracket that holds the EGR heat shield so so that's what I've got to get those on next and then I need to go ahead and swap out the coolant elbows with the brand spanking new set that came with the gaskets you know those are only a few months old it's all right you got brand new ones, so the brand new ones are going on everything will be brand new so at that point I think the only thing I haven't really changed on this car is his oil pan gasket he's got a brand new AC compressor brand spanking new he just did the AC so now his AC is working and uh, yeah I'm really surprised his thermostat had like his car wasn't overheating real bad with the thermostat being like that but it's cool so I'm gonna finish getting this thing together and I'll give you guys another update alright guys so I've been working on this thing now I got my brackets back on and they're tight and I got the new gasket over here on the upper intake with that new tube and so now all right so now that's in there so yeah I was gonna throw, go ahead and throw this uh, thermostat in so I opened it up got the new gasket on going to find out it's a 180 so you got a brand new 180 thermostat. So that's pretty cool. So that should help his car run a lot cooler if it was overheating. There we go. So there's that. I'll probably end up throwing a little RTV under that gasket just since this is, you know, coolant. Uh, RTV So probably throw a little bit under there and a little bit on the cap. This is like I brought him this one And I also brought this one because it it's just not painted silver 
This one looks pretty dang good. And I had a 195 thermo in there. I'm just going to pop it off. I'm going to wire wheel the bottom of this. I have a brand new gasket right there. I'm just going to throw that on there too. So it's got a, a good paper gasket on it. And I'll RTV that as well. Yeah, this thing's coming together. And then once I get that on, then I can go ahead and get the uh, upper intake manifold bolted back on. Get it tightened down. Get the fuel rail back on. Uh, I do have to change the injector O-rings. Actually, I think those are the injector O-rings. So I'm going to have to change those before I can put the rail back on. Because these are just... Uh, yeah, these are caked. But it's all good. I'll get it all back together. It's definitely coming along. And it's like not even 2 o'clock. So it's been like 3 hours and it's already almost all back together. So not bad timing. Making really good time. So I'm going to keep working on this thing. And I'll give you guys another update. I just want to show you all that 180 thermostat. And show you all the, the progress on this thing. So you all stay tuned. All right, guys, so I almost messed up. I had the upper intake set on there. And everything was looking good. I was about to start putting the bolts in there right there. And then I remembered that EGR tube. That would have sucked if I would have bolted all that down. But yeah, so make sure if you're doing this that you put that, uh, that EGR tube back on before the upper intake. Because you will never get it on with that exhaust being there and the thought of body and all that being right here. You'll never get it on. So, if you guys are doing these lower intake manifold gaskets or even just the upper intake manifold gasket. And you have to take that EGR tube off. Make sure you put that back on before the upper intake manifold. But, and then also on the upper intake. So, your intake comes with this gasket and then it comes with this tube. And so this tube... Pull this back off of here. Yeah, so this tube that's on here. Alright. So this tube is like this. This tube clips into these two spots here. And then this piece that's angled goes right into this slot right here. It's for the PCV valve up here. So you want to make sure that you get that in there how it's supposed to go and not just dangling out here. I mean, it might still run, but it's probably going to run shitty if you don't put it back together the correct way. So when you slide that together, just make sure the shovel is in that hole. Line everything up. Shaw's in the hole, clicks in on the sides, put those there, and then these click into the dowels, that kind of holds the whole gasket on there. Make sure all your intake runners are lined up with the gasket, because this inside intake piece comes out, it's just plastic. Yeah, everything lines up pretty good. So now when I tighten that up, it'll all seal. Everything's lined up. Got my straw going in the piece, in the PCV valve area. So now that's ready to go back on. <clears throat> um, I'm probably going to go ahead and unbolt this throttle body real quick while I still have this off. Because it's just three 10 millimeter bolts. And then I can go ahead and swap out this throttle body gasket. So I'll have this brand new gasket in there. And like I said, everything will be brand new on this thing for him. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to show you all that. Make sure you get that EGR tube on there. And then make sure that you get this straw clicked in and going into that PCB valve right there. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that throttle body gasket and then get everything bolted back on here. And I'll give you guys another update. All right, guys, so got the new gasket in there. There's the old one. Didn't really look bad, but he got all new shit, so might as well. You can see how dirty and carbonated up this uh, throttle body is. 
I'm gonna get this all wiped down and scraped off with a razor blade to get that old, looks like there's RTV on there, but that could just be some buildup. Yeah, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, the surface cleaned up pretty good, so it'll go back on there and literally just three 10 millimeter nuts. And that thing was off, so. I'm gonna get that cleaned up, get it back on there, tighten down, and then upper intake and everything's ready to go back on the engine. And things should be running in like an hour. So <sighs> I'm gonna get this thing back together and throw it back on here, and then I'll give you guys another update. All right, guys. So I got everything back together. Got my upper intake manifold is on. There's a. Uh, this bolt with the stud on it and this bolt back here with the stud on it are both a 10 millimeter but all the rest of them are eight millimeter so that one's an eight all those back there are eight that one's a 10 that one's an eight all these on the front are eights and then that one's a 10 <clears throat> and then the three throttle body ones are 10. but yeah so now all those are are back on and tight Everything's nice and snug down. So I've got to grab the torque wrench. I believe these are like 12 foot pounds or 15 foot pounds or something for the upper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those torqued down. And I'm gonna have to look up, look up that torque spec just to double check on that upper intake manifold. Cause it's plastic, not aluminum, like the series threes. But yeah, so I just gotta get that torque down. Then I can get the fuel rail back on after I change the injector O-rings, which all, yeah, right here. So I've got to change those injector O-rings and then I can get the fuel rail back on and then it's just plugging everything back in. And yeah, it's not very long from now and this thing will be running again. So y'all stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated. All right guys, so I've got everything up here plugged in. Got my fuel, the fuel rails on, got the injector o-ring swapped out, uh, everything's plugged in. Um, I've got the old coolant elbows out of the uh, alternator bracket. These are the brand new ones. These, I mean, these are still really good. These are only like four or six months old, but I'm going to keep those backups but I'm gonna go ahead and put on his brand new ones that came with this kit so all I got to do is just get some RTV on both ends of these this one goes in this front here and then goes into the lower intake manifold right there and then this one goes right down there in that other hole and it goes into the timing cover right over there like that. Uh, there's a hole in it. Yeah, there it is. Hole in the timing cover. I'm pretty sure the bigger on this one, the one with the black um, O-ring, is a little bit bigger around than the side with the orange O-ring. I'm pretty sure the black O-ring goes into the timing cover, and then the orange O-ring side goes into the bottom of the bracket. <laughs> yeah, so that's next, is getting these coolant elbows on and RTV'd. I want to try to get this old RTV out of here. Um, whenever I took the lower intake manifold off, I know, yeah, this piece, this was from the plastic coolant elbows that were leaking and were cracked whenever I put those on. And this piece was still in the lower intake manifold. I'm really surprised it wasn't leaking this whole time, but it's good, I got that piece out of there. So now I just gotta get all this uh, RTV out of the bracket. So it looks pretty good in both holes. But I just wanna get a little bit better, give it a nice good uh, mating surface so that the new RTV will stick really well. And that'll ensure that we don't have any leaks on this thing. So I'm just gonna finish getting this uh, RTV cleaned up and then get these uh, new coil elbows RTV'd and in here and start getting this thing bolted back together. And then I can, once I get that bracket bolted back down, I can get the alternator on, throw the belt back on, and then I gotta do the oil change and then top her off with coolant. 
and that's pretty much it bleed it and that'll be that so y'all stay tuned and i'll keep you guys updated all right y'all so i got the coin elbows on and rtv'd got them all tight so now i've just got to get the alternator back on throw the belt back on and essentially it should start up but i'm gonna go ahead and drain the jacket up drain the oil and put the plug back in then i'll top her off and top off the coolant right here and then uh then i'll start it up and bleed it so yeah, it's almost back together, so y'all stay tuned, and I will keep you guys updated once I get this all back together, and I'm about to start her up. Alright, y'all, so, got everything back together, I got it topped off with coolant, I got the bleeder valve cracked open, got the belt back on, alternator's all back hooked up, uh, so I'm going to throw you guys on this stand here and I'm gonna go start up the car and turn the heater on bad for about four hours of work tearing the whole thing apart replacing everything getting all back together only thing left to do is the oil change so, not too bad not too bad at all so I've got the heater on I gotta let it run for a few and let the thermostat open so it starts cycling and then once it starts cycling, then uh, then I'll be able to get it fully bled all the way and top it off, tighten down the bleeder valve, and then I'll do the oil change. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run, and I'll give you guys another update here in 10 or 15 minutes. All right, y'all. So it's been running for about 10 minutes now. It's nice and quiet. Bleeding out the air, out the bleeder valve. Still pretty full on the radiator. It's blowing some hot, hot heat. 
so the thermostat's open. Oh my jeez, it's hot in here. It's still not even up to the temp mark yet. But it's definitely blowing hot, hot. I can't even sit in there. It's too damn hot today. But I gotta have that heater on to circulate this coolant. So it's uh it's coming along though. I'll definitely keep you guys updated once this thing starts spraying out all the way. I should just start shooting a stream out of that bleeder valve, out of that hole right there. Once that thermostat opens up. But man, this thing's running great. I'm not seeing any leaks from anywhere. I'm very happy with with the work today. Four hours, man. Let's say call it four and a half with the oil change, so that's like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this about five more minutes or so, and then I'm gonna tighten everything down, top it off, shut her down. And I'm gonna grab the jack and jack this thing up, and drain the oil, and do the oil and filter, and and he'll be good to go. So another hard day's work. <laughs> uh, I'll give you guys another update whenever I'm uh, about to do the oil change. All right, guys. <clears throat> so it took a while to get a hold of them, but I finally got the oil and filter and got this thing jacked up. I've already pulled the drain plug. It's right here. It's about done draining. And I got my filter wrench, the filter pliers, so I can pull that filter off. And then I throw this new filter on and let her back down, fill her up. And she'll be done, good to go. So, not seeing any leaks anywhere. Everything's working like it's supposed to. Runs great. Should still be full on coolant. Yep, still right at the top. So, I'll top it off a little bit more while it's jacked up. That way it'll be extra full. And yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead and get this oil change done. And get this thing back on the ground and I'll give you guys another update all right guys so got the drain plug back in I got the oil filter swapped out that's the new one there's the old one so now all I gotta do is fill this back up with oil at least you got some good oil Valvoline so now I just gotta fill this back up with oil and set it on the ground, start it up, let it cycle through the filter, and he's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this down off the jack and fill it up with oil, and then uh, I'll give you guys another update. All right, guys, she's done. So I got her filled up. She topped off. It's a little bit over the full mark, but she runs good. Idle's nice and smooth, no leaks anywhere. So everything's full. Like it blows hot as fuck heat out of the vents and it doesn't even get up to halfway. So that 180 thermostat really really helps. So Nick Justina, hope you guys are happy with it and enjoy it. And uh and that's it for this one, so y'all have a good night. Catch you on the next one.